Well guys, to you back again. Well, somebody has finally made a replica of the Neo Geo CD pad, including the clicky stick. And this one is by 8 but Do. Uh, it is compatible with um, a few different consoles, basically Android, Windows and the Neo Geo Mini. Uh, but that includes various other, sticks, other things you'll get it working on. Um, this is the box. I bought the KO Edition version. You can get like, I think there's a KO Edition, an Ivory Edition, um, a my edition and the standard one, but I thought oh, I'll buy the KO edition one. So basically, that's this is the box it comes with. You can see it's a very shiny box, as you can see. So we're going to unbox this. I have taken it out and I have used it for a few hours just to give my thoughts on that. And I've tried on some stuff as well, so I'm going to give you my thoughts and all that. So getting it out of the box can be a little bit tricky. There you go. So we'll check out over there. It's so quite a nice box actually. So, what we get in the box is the actual pad itself. So we unbox that now. And put that over there. There's the actual pad with the uh, KO artwork. If I get a little bit closer, hopefully that'll, that'll look pretty tidy. So you've got the KO artwork. Uh, we've got the same button layout as the original Neo Geo C pad, uh, CD pad. You've got um, a little switch on the back that changes it to Bluetooth and uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So it works with the included dongle. Um, I did try to take it apart to have a look at the inside, but it's got um, security screws. And I've ever got one too small or slightly too big, so I can't quite open it. But um, Video Gamer es uh, Esoterica, he did a teardown of it. You can have a look at it. On the inside, it looks very much like the original Neo Geo CD pad. Same sort of type um, setup with the micro switches as well. So there's the pad, and as you'll hear, it has a proper clicky stick. And buttons as well, which um, feel quite similar to the original Neo Geo ones. So we'll put that down for a second. Um, you get a little booklet giving you uh, all the information. You get a little USB-C to um, standard USB dongle, which uh, goes in the Neo Geo Mini. Um, which is quite handy, but you need that to plug it in because you can't plug it in otherwise. You get your, your little dongle, which you can use on your PC and your Android or whatever else has got a USB. <laughs> I did come across one slight snag with this. It's exactly the same colour as the 8-bit dough uh, Pro Pad dongle. So if you've got two of them, you put them down together, you can't figure out which bloody one's which. So one thing I'll have to try is whether the you could sync the pad to it. That would be quite nuts, but I haven't tried that. But anyway, that's the dongle. And you get your USB-C cable for charging. Uh, the battery in it uh, does last about 30 hours, I believe. Could be a little bit longer, I'm not entirely sure. Um, does it say on the back? No, it don't. It don't. It, they, they're pads, to be honest, their pads normally last a very long time, which is rather nice. So I'll flip this uh, box over because we're going to make use of this box a little bit later. Right, so, this is the pad compared to a Neo Geo CD pad. As you can see, very similar size wise. I'm not, I think it does look a tad bigger because of the bumper buttons. If you put it on, it's quite similar. Um, plastic is very similar feeling. Uh, if you look at the shiny sort of texture it's got, it does seem to have the same shiny texture. It is a slightly different colour, black. Not if that makes any difference, mind to be honest. Um, the buttons, the Neo Geo buttons, on the Neo Geo new pad, they've got a slightly different sound to them, but they do feel rather similar. They do feel very similar to use, actually. So if you've used a, an original Neo Geo CD pad, you're going to be quite familiar with this straight away. Um, the start and select buttons are the correct way around. The same as the button setup is the correct way around, unlike the uh, Neo Geo mini pads, uh, which is rather nice. Uh, the On the original Neo Geo CD, you can see that the buttons are sort of indented in. On this one, the buttons are actually sticking out a bit, which, you know, doesn't make a difference, really, but it does the job. Um, 
the printing on this pad, I don't know if I can get this really close. I don't know whether you can see how it is raised off the actual surface. So it is actually printed on the surface itself, the artwork. So hopefully it, it, it feels very durable, to be honest. But obviously only time is going to tell whether that will actually rub off with usage. I don't know. I get a feeling, though, by the feel of it and how thick it is, I don't think it will. But time will tell on that one. The printing on the select and the start button would have been a bit nicer if they'd used the same font as that, since this is officially licensed by SK. But they, they went with their own font, nothing makes any difference to be honest. But um, it would have been a little bit nice. Now down to the actual stick. On this stick, as you'll when you when you're um pushing the stick, you can actually feel the Microsoft clicking, uh, the micro switch clicking. You can feel the point where it clicks. Uh, on the original pads, like for two of the original pads, you got it's a slightly different clicking sound. So they are slightly different micro switches. And on this original pad, you can't feel on the stick when it actually clicks, but you can hear it. But on this one, there's a definite feel to when it hits that micro switch. The other difference as well, on the original pads, if you listen, the fro is very short which probably contributed to the fact that you're always pushing hard to up and down and left and right, but you're clicking the micro switch as soon as you get literally there, um, which probably contributed to why these pads failed quite a bit. Uh, I'm surprised this one has lasted so long. They, I've had a few of them in the past. They, there was one made for the PS2 for the King of Fighters 94 remake, and that died on me with literally in about five days. Uh, this one is... Obviously, it's under the test of time. It's been around for like 30 years or whatever. And, uh, but yeah, pushing really hard when playing fighting games and your Microsoft, your Microsoft um, Switch sort of uh, clicking by there is probably what contributed to these breaking over time. Too much pressure maybe on the Microsoft Switch. With this new one though, the fro is longer. Like if you listen, it clicks there. So I don't know whether you can tell how close you are to the plastic on the inside. So it's so you, you're quite you, literally. There's almost nowhere else you can go at that point. So the throw is a little bit longer on this compared to there. So you're you're there essentially on the new one before it clicks. So the throw is very light on this one, and the throw is a little bit longer on this one. So it is a bit of a slightly different feel. But I will say, from what I, the way you can feel these micro switches switching, it does it does feel a little bit more sort of solid. Even though you do have to do a little bit more movement to get um, your clicks. So if you're used to this pad, there's definitely a bit more throw, and you can definitely feel it in this new pad. Um, the backs of the pads are pretty much identical, essentially, except for obviously the logos and the switch. And these use standard screws. These ones got security screws. So that that's the pad differences. Um, apart from the actual, you've got the bumper buttons at the top, and you've got the button for syncing and a USB-C port, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, it feels to use wise in the hand. It feels very, very same, if practically the same, except for the fact, like I said, you do have more throw on this. So, um, like I said, it, 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 is, it does support Android and PC and um, Neo Geo Mini at the box. I have tried on a few other things. It works perfect on the Mister. Uh, it works on there. I've tried it on the Astro City Mini and the Mega Drive Mini and it won't have none of it. Um, apparently, while you're in... Um, the other thing with the PC, which is quite a good thing, while you're in the, the 2.4 gigahertz mode, it recognises it as an 8-bit pad, but it comes up as an Xbox pad. So X input, so literally Xbox Live games and everything all work perfect on this. And I tried some really old PC shooter maps that only work uh, in D input or they only work with the analog stick on a, a, an old 360 pad. They work with this. What you have to do, you can change to analog left and right. I think you hold down select and hold the direction for five seconds. And it switches from D-pad to the uh, right stick or the left stick. So basically, you just switch it to the left stick. And you can still play the old uh, PC shmups. So 
it acts like a 360 pad in lots of ways but in place you can swap it back i think kit up and select goes back to d-pad it could be down and select i'm not entirely sure which one so it's quite versatile on the pc and it did everything i tried it did emulator wise old pc shmups and old pc games and new pc games it worked on so that that's really good so that could be a very useful um pad for um PC, you know, playing shmups and emulators and uh, beat em ups and stuff. The only thing I will say about playing six button beat em ups, because this was designed for a Neo Geo pad, you've got four face buttons and you've got the two left and right, which is like a SNES pad. So maybe not ideal for six button um, beat em ups, but for anything Neo Geo or some of the modernish type beat em ups, this is going to work pretty fantastic. Uh, the other thing I tried, like I said, it works perfect on Mister. I tried it on the playstation it doesn't work i tried it on the evercade the evercade runs interesting um it does work on the evercade uh it wired and it does work on um for the dongle only problem is it picks up the select button and the home button i think is the same button so when you go for the menus on the evercade and you set all your buttons you can't select the menu button uh i don't know whether that's going to get fixed in firmware but for some reason, it recognises these two buttons as the same. But as long as you're using, like most EverDrive games, you're going to play on no more than three buttons anyway. So as long as you're using something, you say, with four buttons only, or five if you want to count one of these, uh, you can set one of these to your menu button and use it on the Evercade. Um, I did have a weird issue with one game where the controls are a bit odd, but I've, I've updated the firmware on this. We'll go into that next. And... Um, I haven't tried that game again unfortunately but it after i'd updated the firmware i remapped everything and it still doesn't recognize the menu button it was a little bit of a shame but i gotta be honest apart from one or two games on the evercade everything else literally is two or three buttons so i suppose technically you could get around it um as for firmware updates uh when you first plug this to a firmware update it's going to say there's no firmware update available uh, what I had to do was at the top right of the firmware updater, go into uh, about the firmware updater, and then there's a tick for the click um, beta cores, if a beta firmware. If you tick that, then go back to the menu and then go to the top again and go manually select and select the pad, the updates show up. So I'm, I'm assuming, obviously, because this is new, uh, you know, they they haven't got that shown in the main menu at the moment. But yeah, I've got this updated to 1.09. So far, there's a few YouTubers were saying yesterday that 1.04 or 5 was out. So they are, they are firmware updating this pretty fast. And there's a firmware 1.05 for the dongle as well uh, shows up. So I've updated both of them. Um, it doesn't seem to be any information on the 8-bit dose site at the moment of what any of these are doing. So I think they're just checking them out and then they're probably going to put the information up. So yeah, you have to enable that beta firmware to get these working. Okay, so what, what we'll do now is... Uh, did I try on anything else? I'm trying to think if I tried it. I tried on a few things, but um, yeah, I would say if you're buying this for the PC for 2D stuff, it's probably going to work fantastic. And it, it does work fantastic for us. Missed it. Brilliant. Um, Evercade. Okay, it's got a few issues, but it does work essentially. Um, the other thing I would say with this, they did miss a trick not giving you a dongle like this for the original uh, Neo Geo. But there is a Bluetooth Neo Geo dongle that you can buy. It's forty nine ninety nine, and and as far as I know, this will sync up to it. So you could play this Bluetooth on a Neo Geo, which is pretty pretty damn good. Uh, I think that dongle allows you to use other pads like Neo Geo, you know, the PlayStation, Xbox, and numerous anything Bluetooth essentially. So. That might be worth an investment for the Neo Geo to get this pad working on it. So you have a second Neo Geo pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this to the side. I'm going to get this Neo Geo. I'm going to see if I can uh, angle this a little bit more so you can see what's going on from the top. So I'm going to angle this. Um, I've got the uh, Neo Geo Mini going here. This is the, the red one. Uh, I'm going to plug the dongle in. And then I'm going to actually plug the dongle in itself. And then basically all you have to do on the pad, a bit awkward now, I mean, is basically press um, start on the pad and it should sync it. And it does. So basically you can use it on the uh, Neo Geo Mini. I say this is a hack Neo Geo Mini, that's why there's loads of games on it. So let's try, let's try something. 
Um, let's do metal slug. I only recently hacked this as well. May as well at this point in time. Like, uh, but uh, it was surprisingly easy to do actually. I got the uni bias on here, which is quite nice. I still, I will say that on 1080p, even though you can't get um, proper pixel mode and you've got to use like an updated filter, it don't look too. It is playable and it it, it doesn't look. It doesn't. I suppose it does look awful, but it, it doesn't. It's, it's not. It's not playable. But on the 4K telly, it doesn't look good. <laughs> so let's put the credits in. The good thing about this as well as. On the Neo Geo um, Mini, the buttons are the wrong way around. So that's A, B, C, and D instead of A, B, C, and D. This actually puts them the right way around and works. I will say, though, the screen on this uh, Neo Geo Mini is pretty nice. Mission one, start. I think what I, I was going to press the buttons on there now. So what I think I'll do, I'll turn the volume down because it's, it's a bit loud. Maybe not half I don't. What again then? Then again, that is pretty loud. So here's Metal Slug, it all plays perfect. You can duck down and stuff like that. So we'll go back out and we'll try fighting game. Because this, you know, this pad is gonna be what a lot of people are gonna play on fighting games. So, I need to change it. I can't remember how to change it now because I haven't done it for ages. Um, settings. Ah, that's it. I only recently done this, so I'm not quite sure how you do it. So, this reboots into the fighting games. So, if I do, I don't know, King of Fighters 97. Let's do 98. I did try this on um, the Mister, uh, playing some fighting games, and I was doing my moves no problem at all. Specials, moves, uh, double tapping, everything straight off. So this pad does work rather well. So we'll have, um, let's have a look. We'll have advanced. We'll have KO, and we'll have uh, Rav. We'll look KO first. So all the buttons are, are set up like the new Geo set, the CD set out now. So basically it's your kick and your hard punch, weak punch and kick. So basically you can do the moves, no problems at all. Doing them first time. As you can see, and I'll do some, see if I can do some specials. So basically, your specials straight off first time. I say this does work rather nice, this pad. I think with the, the slightly bigger throw, it feels a little bit more like um, like using a, a, a Sanwa joystick, sort of, but in pad form, if you know what I mean. Got these moves now on you. Is it a charge? Yeah, it's a charge move on you. They play. They mess around with the um, SNK characters quite a bit in the in these games. I think his moves are all charges. In the other games, they're not charges. Then you've got your fireball forward, and then you've got your charge and kick, which does the kick move, which you just got me out of. And I'm pretty sure it's charging up on this version to do the up slash. Yeah, it is. Okay, the charge moves. But as I say, as you, as you can see, that the, the pad works perfect, basically. I'm not dropping any moves when I'm trying to do them. So let's try... Let's try Fatal Fury game. Let's do Fatal Fury special, the old classic. 
I am liking this pad quite a bit. It does feel nice, you know, the form factor of the Neo Geo CD pad was always really nice. I say, I will say one thing though, your finger does touch that button quite a bit when you're, when you're doing the, the hold. But you know, that, that's something, it, it depends on how you hold the pad, like. So, let's have, uh, who are we gonna pick? Let's pick Tezza. And let's fight uh, Kim. Actually, no, that was my take it back. I need to charge yet. See, so no, no problems with moves at all. This, this thing works really nice. In fact, I, I might even might I might might even invest in another one at some point as well. I say, um, it's good that uh, somebody has actually released a proper pad. People have been calling it for years. It's just missing that dongle is uh, a little bit of a, a shame. They could have, they could have definitely uh, appealed to a lot of Neo Geo players. Ah, you kick my ass. So that's uh, basically playing on the Neo Geo Mini. As you can see, it works perfect, basically. So I'll move that back out of the way. So what are my final thoughts on this pad? Um, like I said, it's got a little bit more throw than the original um, Neo Geo pads, uh, but the buttons feel they feel more substantial, if you know what I'm saying. And they, you can definitely feel that click. It feel they they feel more like qual more better quality micro switches. I don't know whether that is the case, but that's what they feel like. Buttons and everything very similar, similar feel and everything. The artwork's quite nice. Like I said, hopefully it won't rub off. It does feel thick, so. Hopefully it, it won't just that really sort of solid artwork, but it is printed onto it. Um, yeah, it does work on mostly. I, I'm going to end up probably using this on the Mister quite a bit, I reckon, and uh, possibly using it on the PC quite a bit as well, uh, just because it's very nice. I do have another 8-bit dough pad, which I tend to use for everything, uh, which is this one. I love this pad. This pad is fantastic. It does have a few issues where sometimes that's recognised as not really a button, and you've got these small satin style buttons at the top. And playing SNES games is tricky on this because you, in this way, and SNES games are more like this. So playing SNES games is not good on this. Now you have to literally go over to here and you have to remember not to press the buttons. So this is why I've got like a SNES pad basically for the mister. But this is generally my go-to retro pad. Um, but uh, this may end up taking over that because it uh, it does feel uh, lovely. I say for the price, I, I think it was, it cost me, you, well, you can only buy these at the moment from Amazon US. Uh, you can buy them off their um, AliExpress page, but they won't ship to the UK. So your only option basically is to buy them from um, Amazon U US. So with the paid import duty and the postage for this, I think it worked out to something like 52 quid. So it wasn't super cheap. Uh, so once they get on the UK Amazon, they should be cheaper. I think they're about, they're about £35, something like that. I can't remember the exact price. So they should be cheaper. Um, yeah, so my feelings on the pad, it's a super nice pad actually, um, and hopefully with firmware updates they might add support for extra things of it, but there are ways around it with Bluetooth dongles. Uh, but I, I, you know, when you buy this you know what you're getting for, you know it works on Windows, you know it works on um, Android, and you know it works on the Neo Geo Mini. So as long as you've got X input, which pretty much you have, uh, it should work on anything on the PC as well. And when when you use Bluetooth, apparently it's D input. So that would be PlayStation, but obviously you can't sync it to the PlayStation. Uh, you can't sync it to the um, Switch either, I've tried. Uh, so maybe maybe that'll become an option in future with a firmware upgrade. I don't know. As for mobile phones, I don't have an Android phone to sync it to to try and play games. It does sync to an Apple phone. But you can't play any games with it. But they it, they don't state to support it. So, you know, fair enough. Can't complain there. But yeah, I would say this is, you know, if you, if you like the Neo Geo CD pad, or you like the idea of having a joystick style micro switches in pad form, um, I think I'd recommend picking this up. It's a very nice pad indeed. And I will be using it quite a bit. 
and hopefully with a firmware update they fix the um the menu button on the evercade i know they don't officially support the evercade so that's probably never going to happen but it would be nice if they fix it but like i was saying most evercade games you're only going to use three buttons anyway so you can get around it by using one of these for your menu uh the other thing i didn't mention as well it does have built-in auto fire like all eight bit dough pads um you can't change as far as i know you can't change the speed of it but you just hold that down and press a button and it changes to auto fire then you hold it and press it again and it takes auto fire off super handy especially on the evercade and um the pc as well so anyway guys that's the new geo pad uh hopefully you like the look of the one i got i was going to get the my one but she looks a bit weird on it so i didn't bother getting it um i think when i do buy another one i might get the irie one possibly or just get the plain black one um so yeah so that's the pad highly recommended seems very nice indeed and if if i uh play it for the next month or two and something goes drastically wrong or the artwork rubs off or the pad breaks like the original neo geo ones i'll do another video and let me know but um, if you don't see another video it means it's still working so hopefully it don't suffer from the problem i think to be honest that's why the click doesn't click in until there where you're literally almost full press i think this one's going to last a lot longer so only time will tell i suppose but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the review and um if you fancy it pick one up i reckon nice pad indeed so um i shall catch you on the live streams so bye now